Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium on the campus of New Bedford High School, where tonight the New Bedford Cable Network is proud to present boys high school basketball action. It's the homestanding Whalers of New Bedford High taking on the Brockton Boxers. Joe Cabral joined by my partner Chris Santos for the action from the Ed Rodericks Court, the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium on the campus of New Bedford High School. Two former Big Three rivals matching up here tonight, New Bedford and Brockton, Chris. And one of the familiar faces who we would normally see here, Joe, is not in attendance tonight. He is no longer the coach of Brockton, and that's Bob Bowen, who is uh, retired from that, and new head coach Emmanuel DeBarros in his first year as the Brockton Boxers head coach. They come in at 2-1 and one with wins over this New Bedford team of 70-42 to 42 at home. They beat Bridgewater Raynham on the road, 73-61. to 61. And then they had a postponement against Dartmouth before taking on Durfee at Durfee and lost that one, Joe, to the Hilltoppers, 55-49. Had a chance to speak with Coach DeBarros. He just said, you know, we were outplayed. They grinded it out more than we did. We had too many turnovers, and we just didn't make our shots. He says, this is a four-quarter game, and we only played two out of the four. Starting lineup for Brockton being introduced. Number one, Noah Alowu. Number double zero, Nicholas Lutz, the big man you see on the floor. 22, Isaac Lane. 33, Navon Reed, a name we're familiar with. Yes. Chris, and number 23, Vanilton Xavier, also familiar with Xavier from prior years. For New Bedford, the starters will be number two, Clinton Dunstan. He'll be joined by number 15, Kendall Franklin, number 10, Messiah Morgan, 21, Sam Mosier as a forward, and number 24, Will Tarpey as the other forward. The Whalers come in at one in five, winning their last game on Saturday, their first of the season over the Indians of Dartmouth by a score of 50 to 48. Our national anthem. Our national anthem from the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium, running the starters your way one more time for Brockton. It'll be Alowu, Lutz, Lane, Reed, and Xavier for New Bedford. Dunstan, Morgan, Franklin, Mosier, and Tarpey. Our first look at Franklin this year, number 15, Kendall Franklin. So it'll be good to see him back on the court as Brockton wins the coin toss. They will put the ball into play first. And this is number 22, <laughs> Isaac Lane, doing so for the boxers. He'll get it in the backcourt to Alowu. Alowu with the basketball being guarded by Dunstan. Got it to Lane. Now working to the paint, they'll kick wide for three. The shot was no good by Xavier. Rebound to Brockton. They'll get it inside to Lutz, and they'll call a foul. Oh, yeah, that's an easy one there. As Lutz was bodied off his shot, he'll go to the free throw line. Foul will be on Mosier, his first. But it was the shot before that, Joe, on the three. Got a box out. They came all the way from the opposite side to get that. Especially when you do not have the size advantage. And Brockton with a significant advantage in height here tonight. Lutz misses the first free throw. 
Now Lane will go into the lane along with New Bedford's Mosier and Tarpey. Second free throw here for Lutz, and the shot is up, and back iron again, no good. Rebound to New Bedford this time, and it was Sam Mosier. He'll get the ball here to Dunstan. New Bedford's first possession of the night. Dunstan being guarded by Alowu. Goes high post, got it to Mosier. Mosier looks for a handoff here, got it to Franklin. Franklin between the legs a couple times, tries to get to the paint, squeeze up a shot, and he's fouled. It looks like it'll be against Lutz, Chris. I think it's going to be as well. They're going to say on the arm by Lutz, not with the body. So Franklin will go to the line to shoot too. Took it right into the body of Lutz, and that's always the key when you're going against a big man. You've got to go into their body. And Franklin hits a free throw. one nothing, New Bedford. Second free throw here from Kendall Franklin. For Brockton, Alobu and Lane into the lane to rebound along with New Bedford's Mosier. Second free throw rattles around and in. It's 2-0 New Bedford. Full court pressure here from the Whalers. They'll inbound the basketball and get it to number 23, Xavier. Xavier got it back to Alobu. New Bedford trying to trap here in the half court, yep. all over the court. If Brockton will work it around the perimeter, that's a low move. Kicks to the corner to Lutz, way away from the basket for a man about 6'10". There's a baseline three by Brockton, and this time he hits. Navon Reed with that's, the hoop. That's Reed's first of the night. They expect him to be a going concern all night long for Brockton. Here's Dunstan working against the low move. Dunstan with the right hand in danger of a five-second violation finally breaks that up by moving back. Here's New Bedford's Tarpey for three. He can shoot from distance, and he hits. First one for him. That's Will Tarpey, and a turnover by Brockton, and that will go the opposite way. Ball went out of bounds off of the hand of Xavier. Just enough pressure by that defense from New Bedford to kind of rattle Brockton and got away with one there. Here's Dunstan with the basketball. Here across the timeline, Clinton Dunstan goes high block, got it to Mosier, tries to work to his left hand, low block, turn off the glass with a baby hook, no good, rebound I, to I didn't Brockton. mind that move by Mosier, just like to see him get a little bit lower, that's all. Strong move, just yeah. needed another one or two feet yeah. closer to the goal. Brockton with the basketball, trying to work to the paint, that's Xavier, and they'll call a foul on New Bedford here, I believe against Dunstan. There it is. Inbound here for Brockton. Alowu with the honors. 5-3, New Bedford leads it. Get the basketball here to Lane. Way up top, Lane kicks to Lutz. He'll be called for steps. Hey, got to make the big fella shoot that three. And why is he so far from the basket? Uh, he wants to start high and then go down. Just Chris, settle down you in spread, there. You, you, can play everyone else around the perimeter if you want, but Lane has to be inside somewhere yeah, on that agree. low block. This is New Bedford's Franklin working against Lane. Morgan here kicks to Dunstan, tried to get inside, shut off by the boxers, working against Lane. Franklin tries to kick it back out, gave it away to Alowu. Alowu kicked it now inside, laid up and in. That's Vanilton Xavier. Yeah, good with the pass, bucket. though. Good pass made the whole play. Here's Franklin trying to work to the paint. Yeah, had two. it knocked away, but they're going to call a foul. Question is, are they going to say it's a shooting foul? or? And it's going to be on Lutz, his second. Two quick ones on him here in the first quarter. And he'll check out immediately. Oh, he, no doubt. Big man checks out. In for Brockton, number 20, Michael Curry. Yep, Dunstan will check out along with Mosier. Follow be called before the ball was even and inbounded. Play. Looks like 23 on Vanilton. Franklin got it in and then gets the ball back, goes up with the left hand, and reverses it home. Kendall Franklin. Yeah, something that New Bedford has missed, and it's glad to see in the lineup with some athleticism of Kendall Franklin. And attacking the paint. Yes. Way up top. That was Curry working around the perimeter. They go high post. To the goal with the right hand. Reed, no good. 
Ball is loose, ends up with New Bedford. They didn't call a foul, and oh, Reed was looking for one. Tempo here, and Morgan with the left hand lays it in. Reed's looking around saying, hey, wait a minute, he fouled me, and they said, nobody, I didn't hear no whistle. New Bedford with the early 9-5 lead. Kickball. Brockton in to inbound with Alowu. We'll get it to Lane. Lane to the left hand, pushed off inside, kicks to the corner. That's a three and the shot is up and good. That's Xavier with another bucket, now five points. And New Bedford calls for a timeout. Well, two times in the corner and he's trying to figure out, you know, why is he that wide open to get off shots? And he makes both of them, you know, you just can't do that. And unfortunately, he did and got it. So Brockton to within one, trailing at 9-8. I'm still mystified though, Chris. You mentioned the fact that uh, Bob Bowen is retired. Yep. Um, his team started to shoot a tremendous amount of threes no matter what size advantage they had. And we've seen it again here tonight. Brockton is looking for threes like right out of the gate. Every possession is look for the three. And then from there, maybe, um, you know, maybe come up with a rebound, but attack the goal with the type of size that you have. I'll say it again, Joe. It's the new style of basketball, in my opinion, and you saw the three there, but the new style is let's look for the three first and then work it inside if we have to. as a great athleticism by Franklin. We've seen the Celtics use it a lot. We've seen a lot of other NBA teams do it, and even in high school starting to do it more and more is get that three-point shot off, and you could see there nobody really out at all defending Xavier, and I think that's what got head coach Matthew Hill oh, a little that's, upset. That's called exactly timeout. why he called the timeout. And again, I have no problem with that style yeah. when you don't have the size advantage. Right. Either either it's even Steven or, you, or you're, you're a little bit smaller. Absolutely, that's the way you play the game. Oh, but not look. when you have the size advantage that Brockton has. And there was a nice look, got it inside by Morgan to Tarpey, and he laid it up yeah, and in. Great, great pass there by Messiah. Five now for Will Tarpey. Here's Alowu. This is Lane. They'll get it here to Xavier. This time he missed the shot. Ooh. And they're going to call a foul. Kind of a late call, but he ended up getting the call. Benilton Xavier, another big height advantage here for Brockton. It, again, it's, it's kind of amazing when you look at Reed, you look at Hamilton, uh, Vanilton Xavier, I should say, when you look at Lutz. Yeah, but this kid, Joe, is long, and, lanky, yeah, and, and lean, he can yeah. take the ball off the dribble. And you saw he it likes there. the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and then he just explodes and likes to get to the basket. He, he's pretty strong. Missed the first free throw. Looking for his sixth point. Hits. 11-9, New Bedford. Whale is working it around up top. That's Morgan tried to step back for a three, and they got to call steps on that. That's a good call. You go in, and then you come out with a, a jump stop without dribbling the ball. That's not something you can do. Good call by the official. Here's a low woo. They'll get it inside. A shot there by Lane. Wow shot. No good. Rebound here to New Bedford. Good job that time by Moses standing his ground. Ball goes around the perimeter and out of bounds, but it's off of Brockton. And he saw Roberts penetrate. Got by the first guy, Joe. I thought he would attack the glass. Kicked out to look for the three. Only a freshman, but he's got to learn to be a... He's been aggressive, so he needs to continue with that and not be, you know, timid. He had a great game that we did here. I think it was the one against Durfee. And you just can't let someone shut you down if, if they just happen to be in the way. You've got to continue to press it. Yep. Here he is. That's Roberts. Got it here to Mosier. Look for a handoff to Roberts. No, Mosier keeps it. Now gets it to Roberts. Thought about a three. Goes up top. Here's Franklin. 
Trying to work his way to the paint. Pull up from 17. Shot no good. Shot clock was running down, so he had to take the shot. Here's Reed. Works through a couple of defenders. Kicks, and it goes out of bounds off Brockton. Reed did some nice work there, and the pass maybe just had a little too much on it. It was not that bad. Yeah, I don't know if that pass was intended for the right play. I think he was trying to get it to Xavier, who was waiting for a three. Here's Franklin. Got a handoff to Roberts. They try to kick it inside. Nicely done by Roberts as he got it to number four, Jonti. And Jacques Jonti has his first points of the night. So the freshman making a good decision there on the pass. They're going to call steps, and that's a good call. Sean Goss. That was Goss off the bench with the travel. And New Bedford leads it 13-9. Here's Roberts. Working against Goss. Works to the right hand. Got it to Jonti. Got to the paint. Had a shot there. Turned it down. Kick it inside. inside. Mosier. Mosier off the glass. Oh. This time no good. Just a little strong. Rebound here to Brockton's Montero. Montero advanced the basketball. Vanilton Xavier missed the shot, but a nice tip by Xavier. Got it inside, and Curry lays it up and in. An easy two for Curry. Right place, right time. Kick it inside, here's Mosier. Roberts will take an NBA three, no good, rebound to Brockton. Off the bench, that's Tyler Victor. As Brockton's gone 10 deep here now. That's Goss from the corner for three, shot no good. Oh, tipped Ooh. up and in above the rim Ooh. that time by Cameron Montero. A little bit of elevation from the second unit right now. Oh, he could have stuffed it from there, oh, Chris. Oh yeah, they got a couple of big players on this team. Look at number 34, Tyler oh, Victor. Oh, that's a carry. And Kendall Franklin got the ball trapped up on his hip. So he's called for a walk. And Brockton will inbound. Checking in number three. George Pyrus. Yep. Got a timeout on the play. So tied at 13, Joe, uh, with the second unit looking for a little spot on this boxer team. So Emmanuel DeBarros just uh, rolling the dice and said, hey, I don't like the way my first unit's playing. Let's get my second unit out there and see if they can make some things happen. This is another thing we've seen from Brockton over the last few years. Basically, everyone plays. They, they go at least 10 deep, sometimes 12 deep. Let's take a look at that last tip in from Montero if we have it. Nope, we're gonna go with the the one from Franklin first. And here then we're it gonna show that, that other three. Now that's that a, was the that's three, a three from, from earlier. The corner by Xavier. This good pass right inside, right here. Jonti up and in. Yeah, they caught uh, Reed standing still on that one. Just repeating that yep. sequence again. Hopefully you're with us on Facebook Live on this snowy night in New Bedford. We probably would have had a small crowd, of course, with all of the restrictions due to COVID. There's yep. no one here tonight. All right. Oh, good play by Dunstan. Nice anticipation there by Dunstan. Comes away with a steal. He goes up top. Got it to Roberts. Back to Dunstan. Working against Pyres. Dunstan tries to pound his way Back into door. the paint. Jonti goes up, had his shot blocked. Advancing to Montero, he's ahead of the pack. He can slam it. He lays it up and missed mm -hmm. the shot, but he got his own rebound. And oh, fell man. Down. Missed the shot, an easy lay-in. That's going to be a foul first on the ground. They'll say a foul on the floor here as Franklin was pressing the basketball. Wow, Montero, who had that tip where he was well above the rim earlier, goes mm -hmm. down. Tries to lay it in and misses the shot. Once Tied again, at 13. Very difficult, Joe, to hear the hand whistles. Very, very much so. Just yep. sounds like a squeak, to yeah. be frank with you. Here's a kick inside by Roberts. Nicely done. Got it to Tarpey, and he lays it in. Yeah, Seven points for Will Tarpey. How about Roberts, though, Joe? Off the bench, showing some spark with his assists. Finding open men down low. Pyers got it to Goss in the corner. Goss back up top to Pyers. 15 on the shot clock. Pyers working against Dunstan. Got it to Goss. Tried to work his way inside. 
Ball came loose, but he got it back and laid it in. Well, kind of lost everything there, but he got it to go. Tried to dribble his way through traffic, had it deflected, but then found it and laid it in. And the shot clock turned off here now with 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Franklin turns it over. Brockton's going to get the last shot. Advance the ball here and off the glass, up and no good by Victor, but a foul will be called against New Bedford. As Brockton had the fast break and the numbers, three on two, got it to Victor on the wing on the left. Went with the right hand, couldn't make the shot, but will go to the free throw line with 5.7 seconds left, first quarter. Yeah, that's actually a good foul by Toppy there with 5-7. Don't give up the easy two. Make him earn it as he misses the first. They have not shot free throws here well. No. Three of five, I believe. Yeah, he got him for one of five. One of five. Yep. Check that. One of five. Second chance here for Victor. And he hits. Five seconds left. Here's Tarpey. Got it to Roberts. Now Franklin will take a three. Ooh. Side yeah, iron, shot it. was no good. As the quarter comes to a close. So first quarter, it's 16-15 in favor of Rockton. Reed has three points, while Xavier leads everyone with six. Uh, Victor, you saw that free throw. He now has one. Curry's got two. And Cameron Montero and Sean Goss both have two to get this 16. Meanwhile, from New Bedford, coming in, you are going to see seven points from Will Toppy. We have four from Kendall Franklin, two from Morgan, and two from Jacques to get 15 uh, for New Bedford. Good assist, once we said again, from the Marius Roberts, who's been really doing a good job of finding the big men down below for New Bedford. They only trailed by one, Joe. Could have been a lot worse, but um, I think the spark of the second unit from Brockton brought them back to take the one-point lead because the first unit wasn't doing it. Yeah, they did get a spark with their players off the bench, and as I mentioned, looking at their roster here and seeing that only one, two players have not seen time thus far. So 12 men listed on their roster and 10 have played. Yep. New Bedford, meanwhile, has gone three deep off the bench, so eight players have been out there. Here's Dunstan. Nice low score in first quarter is what New Bedford's looking for. Keep this game tight. Want to keep it in the 60s, most likely. Yeah. Steal here by Brockton. Victor with the basketball, and they're going to say it's a foul on the floor against New Bedford, I think against Dunstan. That's what they called it on, his second. Team sixth. Brockton only had four team fouls. Inbound here for Brockton. Boxes go to Curry, high post. Turns, about an 18-footer. Front iron, no good. Rebound here to Tarpey. Bends the ball here, get it to Morgan, tries to drive his way to the paint with a left hand. He loves those scoop shots, Chris, and he hits. And a strong move to the basket for Morgan. Very strong. I mean, he went from way outside the three and said, hey, I'm just taking this. Come get me. And into traffic. And three people on him, and he still got it in. They kick it inside. Oh, Goss is wide, wide open. Wide open. Lost him down. Lays it up and in. Nice pass there from Victor to find Sean Goss. Jonti got it back. Two, number three, Baptiste. Now back up top. Dunstan working against Goss. Now to Baptiste. He's also a freshman. Here's Morgan. Morgan trying to free up a, his right hand against Montero and banks in a three. You can ask him after the game, Joe. I I'm not going to. don't think we have to, but <laughs> it still counts. Yes, it does. That's a three for Messiah Morgan, who now has seven points. 20 to 18, New Bedford leads it. Oh, nice kick inside. Had a man wide open. He turns it down, wow. kicks it outside. Victor was five feet from the basket. Goss will shoot a three, missed the shot. Rebound inside to Brockton, trying to squeeze one up. No good, but a foul is called. I mean, Chris, he was four feet from the basket. Yeah, he gave it up. With a size advantage, and Victor kicked it to the corner. 
see who this foul they call it on. And Michael Curry to the free throw line. And that was on Morgan, so that will be his second. New Bedford might get in foul trouble here tonight, but Brockton is not capitalizing on the free throws nope. at all. Another miss. So if you're New Bedford, you're not worried about sending Brockton to the line. In fact, it might be a good strategy. And Curry hits one of two. 20 to 19. New Bedford leads it. This is Messiah Morgan working against Montero. Tries to work to the right hand. Kicked it inside. Tarpey bobbled it. Oh, it should have been a double dribble, but he gets away with it and banks it home. Sure looked like a double dribble from here, Chris. Went down with a dribble. Clear. Came up to the two hands. Did it again. Referee didn't call it. No call. Kick to the corner. Goss for three. No good. Rebound to the smallest man on the floor, Pyres. For and Brockton, tries, and at tries least. to go at it. Tried to squeeze it up. Oh, good pass. Missed a shot. Nice pass ahead to Jante. He lay it up and oh, in. Oh, good pass. Brockton not getting back or doing a good job defensively at all. Yep. And New Bedford, as a result, leads it 24 19. Here's Curry working against Dunstan. Skip pass over the top. Montero. He thought about it. Got it to Pyres. Kick to the corner. Curry for three. Hits. Michael Curry with a corner three ball, and it's 24-22. Quiets the crowd with that one of the crowd that is here. I'm sure all the players on the bench. Yes. Around the perimeter, Morgan step back three. Oh, rattled out. Loose ball inside taken by Brockton, and it's Curry. Advance it to Goss. Goss thought about going against Tarpey, but pulls it out. Curry, a long three, missed the shot. Rebound here to New Bedford. Whalers with the basketball. That needed to be a, a call there, and the official did blow the whistle. That was definitely a carry traveling. You saw Franklin, Chris, had the ball kind of move up there a bit. That's kind of a playground move where yep. you get away with that palming violation yep. that they don't really call anymore. They kind of call it traveling now, but that was definitely a first, violation. First unit back in for Brockton. Only one staying on the floor is Goss. Alowu with the basketball. Yep. They'll work around the perimeter, but Alowu gets inside. Missed the shot. Wide open from five feet. That's Lane. His shot, no good. Tip up. Back up. Reed, no good. Loose ball. Should be and New I think it's a foul. Let's no, see. It's going to be, should be New Bedford's ball. I think he called it off um, Alowu. So did. Brockton had three looks there that could not connect. New Bedford maintains the two-point lead at 24-22. Advance it here. Get it to Morgan. Tries to work to the paint. Tarpey, left side of the arc. Looks, goes way up top to Franklin. Franklin, right side of the arc. Shoots the three and hits. Nothing but net from Kendall Franklin, who now has seven. Nothing wrong with it. being able to develop your own shot. And he just did there. Kick inside. Reed. No, check that. It was number 33. Yes, it was Reed. Missed the shot. Brockton's had some unbelievable looks, Chris, and they cannot connect. I mean, Reed is got to be about 6'6", and he was two feet from the basket and didn't make the shot. Well, there's been almost the last three possessions where it's been easy layups or easy rebounds to put back in, and Brockton has missed every one. Lane is guarding Franklin. This is Roberts. Roberts gobbled up, got it up top. Franklin's going to take another three. This one off the glass, no good. Rebound to Reed. Reed will advance it to Goss ahead of the pack, and he's fouled. Tarpy with the foul. Yep, his second. Goss will go to the line. First free throws of the night for him, but we'll be shooting two. He has four points total. Sean Goss with four points on the night. Rattles a free throw home. Second opportunity here for Goss. 
shot is good. Subs in the game. First time we're hearing Ezekiel Johnson, number five, checking in. This is Morgan with the basketball. Works his way inside. Loves that scoop shot, sure Chris. Sure does. He draws everybody in like he's going to go up high, and then at the last minute he gets closer and then just does scoop. the old scoop underneath. Scoop underneath for Morgan. Second time he's done that tonight. Get the ball inside. Spins to the glass. Shot up and no good. We're calling on Moja. And Reed to the free throw line. Two on Morgan, two on Dunstan, two on Mosier, and two on Toppy with 321 going. And it will send Reed to the line. Reed only has three points, yep. a single solitary three with 321 left. First half. Hits a free throw. See, so it looks like he's going to go up high, and Reed's ready to take the block. And then he changes it and goes right underneath it. Second attempt here for Navon Reed. Shot is up and good. Five now for Reed and Brockton back to within three, 29-26. This is Roberts, Demarius Roberts working against Lane. Roberts looks to go up top, shut down. Could be a 10 second violation, just a simple turnover as the ball was deflected and stolen by Alowu. Get the ball there, and Whoa. a kick to the corner by Lane. They'll work it around the perimeter. Alowu kicked the basketball to Xavier. Now to the corner, to the goal. Ball is deflected, and goes out of bounds. Joe, I've never seen a team with so much height advantage go inside and then just throw it out. It's unbelievable. It's almost like to say we can't make these little five footers. But we can hit uh, 22 feet jumpers. It, it's that, that was the third one in that possession alone where they gone inside, they have a height difference over the man, and instead of just taking the quick 10-footer, they're just tossing it out. And the size advantage for Brockton is just, it's so noticeable here tonight. And, um, you know, frankly, last couple of years, I love the run-and-gun style of basketball. I yep. like fast-break basketball. Sure. I like to shoot, you know, the, the game around the perimeter when you don't have the size advantage. But with their size, there is absolutely no reason. You saw what happens when they go inside. They either get fouled or they get two, three opportunities. Yep. But they just, one, are not disciplined to hit the shot, and two, don't take the number of inside looks that they should be taking. And then when you're finally down there, you gotta make those little layups and they don't make them. Yep, and that's been, and then free throws. Yep. There's the long free throw, uh, three pointer by Franklin off the dribble. And he's been a difference maker so far here tonight for New Bedford with seven points. New Bedford with a three point lead. 248 remaining, team fouls is eight for New Bedford and five for Brockton. Alowu will inbound for Brockton. They'll get the ball here to Lane. Tried to drive the lane, kicked it back out. That's Xavier back up top. Alowu with only six on the shot clock. Here's Reed. He's going to take a three. Nope. Nope. Tried to spin his way inside. Lost it, but a nice job there and missed the shot twice. Was Xavier. He did a good job getting up the shot quick so it would hit some iron and not be a shot clock violation, but got his own rebound back and then missed the shot, Chris. Mm -hmm. yep. Kicked the ball here to Baptiste. Baptiste, get it back to Morgan. Morgan trying to do a peeky-boo behind a pick. Had to turn it down. Jonti got the ball here to, to Roberts. He's down on the floor and shaking up. That's a kick to Lane. He'll take a three and hits. A on a foul. They Xavier. call no foul. And Roberts is on the floor, getting up very slowly. So Xavier hit the three. Yep. Hard to know what happened to Demarius Roberts. Did take a spill, but it didn't look like it was a super hard one. So maybe it was just he was hit or something. I mean, I he's only he was, a freshman. Yeah. Just, just. Look at his 
Yeah, so size if it was versus in the stomach or in the solar plexus area. Could have been something famous, to that. So. Yeah, Bruno San Martino. <laughs> <laughs> Going back in the I'm days of the sure. solar plexus. That's that's possible. I always love when Chris pulls those out. We have to we have to come up with some like a highlight. We'll have to send Dan to go to YouTube. I, I don't know if we if we have that on replay. Maybe we'll see what happened to Roberts and see if he did get hit in the solar plexus. I know we only have these short half times, but we could always pull up a Bruno San Martino Ooh. with Gorilla Monsoon. And there's a shot inside, no good. By Morgan Reed with a basketball kicks to the corner. That's Xavier with another three, not this time. We're tied at 29 now. Go Morgan. right to the basket. Morgan steam rolls and his one. way to the basket, and lays it one. up, spins it home. Messiah Morgan. Yes, sir. He's a penetrator. Yeah. Once he got the ball caught and he stopped the feet of number one, Aloui, you could tell right then he was going to go right to the basket. And when Aloui did it, he stopped his feet and he went right by him. Here's Messiah Morgan. 12 points now yep. in this first half for Morgan. New Bedford back up by three, 32-29, 125 left. First half action. Penetration here by Johnson, oh, no, Ezekiel no, no. Johnson. He's gonna be Traveled. called for steps. Yep, thought they were gonna call a blocking foul there for a second. And they overruled him and said, no, let's go with that. 120 to go, up by three. Inbound here by New Bedford. This is Morgan working against Johnson. No, Alowu, check that. And a pass that had too much on it went over the head of Sam Mosier. So used to seeing Bob Bowen up and down that bench, Joe, just back Absolutely. and forth yeah. compared to the Barrows who just sits in his chair. Because that's what Bob Bowen would do. And he would, and let me tell you, when Work he was the mad, officials. and when he was mad, you knew he was mad. Yep. Head coach at Brockton, I believe, well over 20 years, Chris. Yes. This is a low woo. 32-29. Get it to Lane. Lane working against Jonti. Just pushed him off and then put it in with the left hand. He made that look easy for his first two of the night. 32-31. Oh, nice penetration move here by oh. Jonti. Then from behind, Lane blocked it out of bounds. Yeah. And he came back because... They took him off the dribble. And the ball will be off to the side. New Bedford, Jonti will inbound. 51.6 seconds left. 22 on the shot clock. New Bedford still with time to get a good look here. That's Morgan trying to work his way to the paint. Kicked it nicely to Tarpey. Had a shot. On the 10. Needed to take it right away when he got it. This Down is Jonti. Tried to work to the paint. Had it knocked away. Only three on the shot clock. Tarpey from oh. distance. Second time tonight, Woo. New Bedford has said bank. Okay. And I'll, I'll ask him if you ask the first one. Bank a three. We'll go back and forth. New Bedford up by four now, 35-31. This is a low woo. Got to work his way inside. Kick to the corner. Bad pass. And Xavier had cut to the paint. The pass went into an open area of the floor. New Bedford can hold it now for the last shot. Down and ten. Morgan. Good pick up top. Seven seconds now. Long three. Morgan. Messiah Morgan is on fire. Has 15 here in the first half. Feeling it. And New Ooh. Bedford up by seven as the long distance attempt there by Xavier is no good. And New Bedford takes it to the locker room, which really is just the side of the court here during uh, 2021. With a seven-point lead, it's New Bedford 38 and Brockton 31. And I think if you ask Matt Hill and said, hey, uh, you take 38, 31 at the half, he said, absolutely, we would take that. I'm not sure, Joe, if this is their highest scoring half of the year, um, but that's a possibility. Maybe a couple games with Durfee there might be a little higher. Uh, I'm not really sure. We'd have to find that out, but an uh, impressive first half by the Whalers and a very lackluster by Brockton who we think should be working the ball down below and just all over the glass and they're just not doing it. 
And Chris, again, and then on the defensive side, look at some of these highlights. As you saw Kendall Franklin lay one up early yeah. on. Yeah. The amount of layups that New Bedford gets, again, constantly throughout that first half with all of the size that Brockton has, how are you not protecting the goal better than that? Yeah. You know, if New Bedford was shooting threes and hitting them all, you'd be like, but just look at the, the highlight package that they've put up there. That was Jonti who just hit a two. All of these opportunities from New Bedford, so many of them coming from in close. Morgan has a couple of threes, but also has like a boatload of buckets from inside. Yep, and you see Tarpy there. Tarpy going up against uh, Victor, who had a big size advantage. So let's go over the scoring in that first half. For New Bedford, they're led by Morgan with 15 points. Good first half for him. Tarpy chips in with 12 as he has two three-pointers along the way they'll cover that kendall franklin with seven and jacques jante with four to round out the 38 for new bedford meanwhile for brockton they got 31 they're led by vanilton xavier with nine curry and goss both have six reed has five and then lane has two montero has two Add Tyler Victor's one to give him the 31 points. But Joe, if Navon Reed, who in my opinion is a pretty good body size, should be working that class with only five points at the half. Uh, you know, whether he's missing them or not and not making the shots, but New Bedford has given up a little bit of them offensive rebounds. They're not finishing off the glass at all. No. And then when New Bedford's had chances like this chance right here off the glass and in, things have worked out in their favor with Morgan doing it. And same thing with Toppy. So that's why they get the seven-point lead. And, again, as a, as a coach, your strategy has to be, one, play to your strength. Brockton has an absolutely immense team as far as size is concerned. They, they just go from one player to another with with height well over the 6'4", six, 6'5", six, range. And it's not one or two guys. and Just such a big team, the strategy should be should be have someone always on the low block work it inside defense collapses kick it out shoot your three from there but there's no way you can't be using navon reed nicholas lutz uh, uh vanilton xavier inside uh, with the size advantage that you have because one you're not making that smaller team pay for being small and unfortunately you can't teach height but You've got to make your opponent pay for whatever they are lacking if you have the ability to make them do so. And Brockton, with their size, should be trying to make New Bedford pay. New Bedford's biggest player on the floor right now would be like the fourth biggest player on the floor for Brockton. One player, Sam, you either take Mosier or Tarpey, they're bigger than one player, the point guard, for Brockton. Other than that, the size for Brockton is, they're just big all across the board. It's all in their favor, and if you're New Bedford, you just try to keep keep up with this low scoring game, try to work hard on the glass, and when you get some opportunities, you're gonna have to make the shots. Morgan and Toppy helped out there to make shots. Let's see how it goes in the second half with Joe Cabral. Here we go, Lane with the basketball, way up top. Lane trying to work against Franklin. Tried to get it inside, got it in the corner, and there again is Lutz, 20 feet from the basket. Alowu up top, Xavier to the paint, off the glass, no good. Again to the goal, this time lay it up and in by Reed. Okay, so all they gotta do is put ball shots up and then work the glass. Got the ball ahead that time to Franklin, tried to squeeze one up, but he was under the bucket. This is Lane, works to the baseline, kicks to the corner. That's Xavier for three. Shot goes up, no good. Reed. Job by Dunstan. Nice job by Dunstan. Oh, he Reed. pushed Reed he way sure out. Did. And that's the right way. Never went for the ball, which is perfect. That's a three. That time by Franklin, no good. Rebound here to Brockton. To Brockton. New Bedford shot the ball quickly, these first two possessions, Chris. This is yes, Reed trying to work his way so. inside. Alowu. Still with it, gets it inside, Mismatch. there's Reed. That's what you need to do, didn't get the foul. New Bedford collapsing, and that's how you do it if you're Brockton and just missed the shot. But you saw Reed there, was two feet from the bucket. New Bedford had to collapse, 
And then Xavier had a wide open three. New Bedford shooting a three here. This time it was yeah, Franklin I, I, again. I, I no don't good. like this style of New Bedford. No, this, they, this run and gun and just running. This is what Brockton wants. Absolutely. That's Lane. Kicks it inside. Lutz to the goal with the left hand. Yeah, Laid they, it up and in. Yeah, that's not how they played in the first half. More under control possessions. Moving the ball around. Not just taking uh, one pass and then just taking a quick shot. It's been Franklin and Morgan with the threes. And Franklin will take another three. No good. Rebound loose on the floor. Dunstan comes away with it. But New Bedford has shot four threes here to start this second half. And you can see Matt Hill turning to his team with the hand saying, hey, slow down. Relax. And the key to New Bedford's success in that first half was the penetration. They, they took Morgan out. So obviously he wasn't happy with something to take Messiah Morgan out, yep. who had 15 points in the first half. Yep. Took him out already just two minutes in. Franklin to the goal, had his shot blocked by Lutz. Ball is loose. Brockton finds possession. Advance it here to Lane. Baseline, three, no good. Not a good shot there by Lane. You can see he's not a three-point shooter. Here's Dunstan. Thought about it. Got the ball to Tarpey. He's going to take a three. He hits. Wow. But the difference there is Will Tarpey was wide open. Yes. Set his feet. And they swung the ball and they moved the ball instead of taking it off the dribble. And when you're that open at the dot, meaning right at the edge of the arc, you've got to take the shot. There's Reed. He's going to take a three. No good. 41-35, New Bedford. Here's Dunstan. Tries to work his way to the goal. Tried a Morgan scoop shot. Didn't work. This is Lane. He's looking for a foul. Didn't get it. They'll, look, they'll get the ball back here to Lowu. Looked like there could have been a travel. Yeah. That's Xavier, but there was a timeout by Brockton prior to the shot by Vanilton Xavier as their head coach, Emmanuel DeBarros, is saying, wait a minute, guys, what are we doing here? We're just running up and down the floor, throwing up wild shots. You saw the one time they got Reed inside. Maybe he took a little too long, but he was right near the goal. Kicked it out, and you had Xavier, who already has a couple threes, wide open. And that's the way you need to play the game if you're Brockton. You don't want Reed dribbling it or taking it off the dribble to the paint. Station up, low block. Get your big man inside. Get your Use them inside near the goal. Get him the ball. If the defense collapses, Chris, you kick it out. That's when you shoot your three. Yep. And right now, they're trying to find that with Navon Reed. And obviously, keep Vanilton and Xavier. Their leading scorer with nine. Get him involved. As they have four points right now in this second half. And New Bedford has three. So New Bedford still with a six-point lead, 41-35. That's Lane, back to Olowu. Hand off here, got it to Xavier. Back to Olowu, now inside. There you see Reed trying to work his way to the goal, and he draws a foul. That's his game. Foul will be on Moja. Here's Navon Reed. Two for two from the line. And this is a free throw. That's why I said that, Joe. Gave him the old <laughs> Tommy Heinsohn hex. Now he's two out of three from the free throw line. Navon Reed. Hits the free throw. He needs to touch the ball in the low block virtually every possession. Yeah, I think so too. And I like to see, obviously, Xavier. And then you have Xavier on that too. same side of the floor on the wing. So if the ball needs to get kicked out, then he's shooting the three. Get the ball here to Roberts. Demarius Roberts working against Lane. Around the perimeter, here's Franklin. Tripped and then threw the ball away. He's had a rough start to the second half. Yeah, he sure has. Messiah Morgan went to the bench quickly because he was having a rough start. Back in now. And Franklin's had a, a tough start also to the second half. 
That's Montero. Got it to Lutz. To Montero. There's Reed. Low block. And that's how you play it. Back to Montero. Back to Reed. And Ooh. a foul is called. I mean, you have Reed being guarded by Jonti. Mm -hmm. Looked like someone was listening to us over on the Brockton coaching staff, Chris, because they've, they've set up Reed. You get the ball on the side of the floor. Not sure what's happening here. Looks like Franklin's going to have to come out. Face mask situation. Had it down. And if you don't wear it the right way, they take you out. I think so. And go up top. This is Lane. To the goal with the left hand. Just too much size. The bucket there by Isaac Lane, four points on the night, 41-38. Dunstan got it to Tarpy. Now back to Dunstan. He's going to take his first shot up, first three of the night. No good. Rebound to Lutz. Advance the ball here to Xavier. And they, they're now starting to pull it out a bit here, Chris, and trying to set up inside. Yep. This is Lane. Look to Lutz inside, and there's a kick from Tarpey. So they had Lutz inside, who's somewhere between 6'8 and 6'10, being guarded by Jonti, who's probably 6'2. So moving, got now Tapi on him. Oh, they got it to Xavier, right to the goal. Oh, missed missed a shot from two feet. Over the back. And Lutz finds his way inside and banks it in. No call there, letting Lutz go. But again, that's the second time that Xavier has been right at the bucket and missed a shot. And he was uncon it was uncontested. Here's a penetration move there. There's Morgan. Loves that scoop shot. And this went to the left hand. Used Joe. the left hand that time. 17 for Messiah Morgan. 43-40. Montero way up top. Tries to slice to the goal. And they're going to say clear out on... Montero used the left arm to clear his way to the bucket. That official's had a good night. It's called a good game so far tonight. Made a couple of real good calls. That was a good call. First group out, second group in for Brockton. That's Jonti. Get it to Roberts, Demarius Roberts across the timeline. Goss guarding Roberts just back in off the bench. Roberts trying to work his way to the paint. Will take a long three, no good. He had Goss beat, needed to take it in off the dribble to the bucket, then look for an assist. That took a long three. His Pyres trying to work his way to the goal, but dribbled right into Roberts. Roberts. That's all he could do. Had to throw up a shot, no good. Then Montero will get it to Curry. He'll fall back for a two. No good. Rebound inside Montero. He's got plenty of size. Get it to Curry. Thought about it. Tried to drive the baseline. Then brings it back out. Pyers. Going to get called for steps. Brockton with a lot of self-inflicted wounds. Joe, he said it when he played Durfee. A lot of turnovers and a lot of missed easy shots. And the same thing's happening again as they lost 55-49 to against Durfee. And they've missed a lot of shots they here have. tonight. From in close. Get it to Morgan. Little push off there by Morgan. Gets to the goal. Goes up with the right hand and draws contact. I think they're calling it on 20. That would be Curry. I believe that's who it is. It is. And to the free throw line. Messiah Morgan. New Bedford with a three-point lead. Misses a free throw. Seventeen points on the night for Messiah Morgan. <laughs> Makes one of two. 44-40, 2.07 remaining in the third quarter. New Bedford trying to pull the upset here this evening. Low scoring third quarter yes. so far. New Bedford with only six points. 
This is Montero. Got it to Curry. Curry works his way to the goal. Kicks to the corner. Another three for Brockton. No good. And, and over the back. Yep. I think this time it's against Tyler Victor. It's amazing the amount of threes that Brockton is shooting without really, aside from Xavier, who looks decent on the three, no one else has looked good on the threes. Inside, nice move there by Roberts. Kicked it to Jante, oh. and he spins one up. So Jacques Jante now with six points. Boy, I'll tell you, Demarius Roberts has had a nice assist game here tonight. He's finding people in the low blocks after the penetration. His Pirates with the basketball. Works to the right hand, kicks up top, Curry. Now they'll find Victor inside. Missed the shot, got his own rebound, yeah, and then was fouled. can't let him get the own rebound. That's the problem. No one else there, but no. Tyler Victor missed the inside shot and then went back and got his own rebound. That's on top. That's going to be his third, so him and Mojek have three. Victor hits a free throw. One for two in the first half for him. So we watch that little scoop shot underneath. And two free throws for Tyler Victor. Brockton back to within four. Jonti. At the ball oh. to Roberts, long three, no good. Bedford comes away with it. Dunstan, the smallest man on the floor with a rebound. There's a penetration move and a shot missed there by Franklin. He got to the goal, was wide open, yeah, just missed the shot. that would have been a nice basket. That's Goss, get it to Montero. Up by four, we're under 45 seconds left here to go. Kick to Goss, works his way inside. He misses a shot, got his own rebound, follows again, no good. Wow. Another rebound for Goss, squeezes up a shot, and a foul will be called. Yeah, they, they gotta find a way to get some rebounding going. So Sean Goss, with three looks on that possession, now at the free throw line. No good. Free throw shooting has been a problem here tonight for Brockton. And Sean Goss will get a second attempt. One of two. Second time tonight he's done that. Here's Franklin with the basketball. Got it to Roberts. Across the timeline. Over the top. Franklin works it inside. Mosier squeezes up a shot and is fouled. I'll be on Goss. Mosier to the line, looking for his first points of the evening. Shot is good. Second free throw here for Mosier, no good. Rebound, lane for Brockton. Got it to Montero, now Goss, he's gonna take a three. No good. Can look up. New Bedford with there a chance is. here, advance the ball down the floor, lay it oh, up, yeah. and nice. in. Nice with, quick two there. the left hand, Jonti, and Brockton turns it over again. Wow. So Brockton had a chance for the last shot. Instead, they've given up a bucket to New Bedford and giving them the last shot. 9.6. Franklin had it knocked out of his hands. Then he stepped Ball out of went bounds. to the floor, but he was coming from out of bounds, went up in the air, never reestablished inbound, so it ended up being a violation. Six seconds to go, 49-43. Lane inbounds, gets Can't it give to up an easy one here. Montero. Works to the paint, little teardrop. And Chris called it. Can't give up an easy one, but they did as Montero got to the paint, pulled up for the little teardrop, hit the shot, 
and it's 49-45. New Bedford by four, heading to the fourth quarter. Montero's first two of this second half, he's got four total, but as Joe said, it is now only a four-point lead. 16-15 after one Brockton, 38-31 New Bedford at the half, and 49, now 45, as we get ready for the fourth quarter. And Joe, this is exactly where New Bedford wants to be if you want to get into this quarter. This is the kind of game that Durfee gave him. This is the kind of game, obviously, New Bedford wanted to give him. They're getting what they want, and they have a chance if they can, in eight minutes, really work hard on the glass and not give up some easy buckets, as you see, like Lutz did on that particular play. But if you can get some scoop shots from Morgan and obviously working the glass, as you see Dunstan work, look at Dunstan working on a bigger man just by his body alone. So it can be done. That's a perfect illustration of yep. boxing out. That's all you do. And don't even go for the basketball. He boxed out, yep. allowed his teammate to get there and come away with the rebound. 49-45. Fourth quarter action. So Morgan, Franklin, Dunstan, Jacques, and Moja to start this fourth quarter. Got it to Franklin, has a chance to get to the goal with the right hand. Just too easy there to lay it up against Victor. I mean, Victor's in the paint. You cannot allow that kind of easy lay-in. I agree. See if they go with a man advantage here. They're gonna go to Goss against Dunstan. Gosh, tries to work oh, his way to the paint, but went steal. right into Jockey. Go right to the basket. Came go right to the basket. With a steal, lays it up and in with That's the left hand. That's how you go hand. right to the basket. And Jock Jante has had a good game off the bench. Sure Ten has. points now. And New Bedford opens up an eight-point lead. This is Lane. Just pulls up and takes oh, a, give that all day. a oh. bad three and oh. a foul there by Franklin. Oh. Ooh. I mean, if you're a New Bedford, you tell you tell your players on the floor, if you're Matt Hill, let them take whatever they want for threes. Their shooting percentage, threes, is probably under 10%. And Lane yeah. is going to get three free throws because he was fouled on a three. Yeah. Ball traps is trapped up there. Made the first, missed the second. Going to get one more. Yep. See who's back in. The Lutz. Six foot six. Okay. Mr. Lutz is in the ball game. If he's six foot six. Yes. I think uh, you and I were like four eight. Uh, I'm telling you, that's what six six. Uh, I'm hearing from uh, some great sources that that's what he is. That might be in the program. Yeah. Well, that, that could be including from his parents letting us know that he's okay. six six. Is a. <laughs> Jumper from distance by Franklin, no good. And I'm glad they're watching. Yeah, Hope they're enjoying the broadcast. Absolutely. Sorry if we said 6'9". We're trying to make them even we're, more famous yeah, for you. Yeah, we're used to the program yeah. where you make them bigger than they, <laughs> than they are. With a basketball here, Lane left side of the arc. Good we'll get a low look. block, Reed backs his way in oh, yeah. and banks it home against Mosier. Yep, I like the look. I like how they set the pick. Lane waited, Reed came over, back to the glass, and then take it strong. Working it around the perimeter, get it inside to Franklin, kicks to the corner, to the goal. Mosier, a runner off the glass, yeah. up and in. His first two regular points, he had a free throw. He's got three total, up by seven. 55-48, New Bedford. 6-20 remaining in the game. Working it around the perimeter, and again, Reed right yeah. to the goal. There's Lutz. And Lutz with a follow, ah. missed a shot. Brockton just missed two shots within two feet. But see, both of them are getting their position, Joe. Okay, Reed takes the shot, Lutz is in position, and then Reed, after missing the shot, gets through, gets his position again. Foul is on Jante, his second. So team fouls, New Bedford has six, Brockton has five, 6-13 remaining. It's 55-48, let's check the fouls. I got unofficially Toppy with three, Moja with three, Franklin with one, Morgan with two, Jante with two, and Dunstan with two. For Brockton, I have 
Lutz with two, Goss with two, Alohu with two, and then a host of one, Xavier, Victor, Pies, Curry, and Montero as we watch some highlights in this fourth. So New Bedford with a seven point lead. Brockton's gone to the bench again. This time we're seeing Kroger Jocelyn on the floor for the first time here tonight, wearing number 15. There's that runner by Mosier. Got it off the glass and in. Six thirteen left, seven point New Bedford lead. So first time calling his name, Jocelyn in the game number 15 in the fourth quarter with 6-10 to go. Hello, Wu, got it up top, Here's Reed. Reed. Trying to just work his way to the goal. Here comes Lutz on the inside. Just there a he pull is. up, missed the shot. Oh. Lutz with a yeah, follow okay. and he's fouled. You could see him, Joe. He was right up next to us and then he slid right around off the pick. And he went right in, he's gonna shoot too. To the free throw line, Nicholas Lutz. First shot up. A little strong. Back iron, no good. So they'll come in, Reed will come in, Franklin will come in, and Toppy will come in. So let's see if they switch and they say, nope, Franklin says I got him. So Toppy will go on Lutz after he shoots. Second opportunity around and in. A little strong again, but he got that one, a little backspin, got it to roll. Got the friendly bounce. Yep. And Brockton to within six. Tarpy way up top. Got I have it. him with five unofficially for Lutz. Got it to Franklin. Ball deflected up top. Morgan comes away with it. Morgan got it to Mosier. Pull up, no good this time. Oh, oh and rebound that was just yeah. lost and Xavier, right into the yeah, hands. Xavier and Lutz kind of got confused under there, and I think it went off Xavier, and then it just fell into the hands for an easy two. Franklin laid it up and in. Yep. And then a foul here against New Bedford. On a reach in, one and one for Brockton. Let's see, I think that Whalers was on Morgan, his third. Seven team fouls. Yep. And it's Noah. Alowu, who's been scoreless, held scoreless so far here. Subs in. All right, Joe, so let's set it up. They're up by eight with 5.30 to go. Let's remember that. And Alowu, one and one. Uh, this is the free throw and then got his own rebound. You got two white jerseys to one and they cannot stop it. And look at the big man come right in and take it home. So Nicholas Lutz was set up, able to jam one in. Yep. 57-51, six point. Brockton lead and Morgan just call. squeezing his way in there and draws a foul. Well, they're gonna call it on Lutz with the blocking foul. It's gonna be, it's gonna be his third. And misses the first. Misses a free throw. Rattled that one off the side of the rim in the glass. And you heard Matt Hill talking real loud from the bench. We cannot afford those and, offensive and, and, rebounds. And actually, that's not him. That's across the, the oh, gym and, and one of the assistants uh, in the system uh, making his voice heard. Okay. Yeah. But you could hear it clearly because oh, yeah. there's nobody here. Yeah. There's a three yeah. by Xavier, yeah. and he hits. And you can't you can't let him shoot because he, he's, he's the one who's yeah. connected. He, he's the deadly one. And so right now, Joe, remember I said they were up by eight, down to three quickly. That's Morgan for three. No good. Rebound to Lutz. He'll advance the basketball to Reed. Yes. Reed kicks to the corner. That's Xavier, another three. And on the ground, will foul and shoot three. No good, but he's fouled. Coming apart here a little bit for New Bedford sure in this last is. couple of minutes. Vanilton Xavier. He shot better from three-point <laughs> land than anywhere else on the floor. 
All right, so let's see. And you see he was fouled by Mosier. He's one for three right now. And Mosier has four fouls. Makes a free throw. Yep. He's got 13. That's what I have. To Benilton, lead. Xavier with 13 points. And to be only down by one, but Makes misses it. One of three. Okay. New Bedford up by two. 4.30 to go in the game. Here's Franklin. Got it to Roberts. New no Bedford. good. Two possessions, two quick threes. That's Xavier, this time with the left hand. He does lay it in. We're so, tied at 57. And I'm surprised we don't see a timeout right now, Joe. Roberts. Very surprised. Got a two, Franklin back to Roberts. Again, Franklin. Roberts, get it inside. Jonti squeezed up a shot, no good. Rebound to New Bedford's Tarpey. You'll keep it alive. Had it knocked out of bounds. Double team by Lutz and Lane, but Lane tipped it and went out. So at 4.03, Matt Hill says, you know, I had an eight point lead, Joe, and I set it at 5.30. And unfortunately, it's now an eight nothing run by Brockton and we're tied up at 57 and 403 remaining in the game. It goes quickly, especially if maybe you take a, a shot that is not the best. The other team's able to go down the floor quickly and get a good transition opportunity. Brockton got to the goal a couple times there, hit a, hit a three by Xavier. And with that, we are tied. Yeah. Brockton plays Bridgewater Raynham next at home. Then they play Abington on the road. Finish up with Dartmouth uh, on the road. And then obviously, as you see, Lutz with the big stuff and jam with the two-hander. And then after Dartmouth, they finish their season against Durfee at home, who they lost to in their last game. For New Bedford, they got Randolph coming up on Sunday at home. Bridgewater Raynham away, Dartmouth at home to round out their schedule and then have their little mini playoff and championship inside this little league that they are in. So, one and five against two and one tonight. Tied at 57. I hope you're enjoying this one on the New Bedford Cable Network. Joe? New Bedford with the basketball, tied at 57. Here's Franklin, tries to go high post to Mosier. They're working around the perimeter now. They're setting up Mosier high post to try to create some space there. Bad reach in with 12 on the shot clock and a foul will be called against Brockton. They're not over the limit yet. I guess they are. This is yep, their seventh seven. team foul. So on lane. it'll be a one and one here for Kendall Franklin. Down the stretch here, Chris, it might come down to who's shooting free throws the best. Brockton's had a rough night from the charity stripe. Both teams over the limit now. Franklin's free throw is good. Earns a second. Fifty-eight, fifty-seven. New Bedford leads it. And he gets two free yeah. throws. And Joe, New Bedford's been hurt with the quick offense possessions of one pass and just a quick shot. They got to do what they just did and slow this down. Work the ball oh, a absolutely. bit better. They've been better in the half court when they've been so. patient. Here's Reed. Travel. He tried to work his way to the goal, but he's called for steps. Yeah. <laughs> right here. This is a good possession to slow it down, work it around like they did before. Pass Try to get perimeter. a good shot. Yes. No there, need to rush right now. There's Franklin back to Roberts. And he may get one of those fouls and go one and one again. Who knows? And Brockton's playing zone here, so he can, you yep. can work it without a lot of pressure. Right. Roberts thought about it. Good work luck. it around. Got it to Mosier. Kick to the corner. Tarpey could not get off a of three. Here's Roberts up top. Ten on the shot clock. Try to go low ah. block. Bad pass. Stolen. Good play by Lutz. This is Lane trying to work his way to the goal with the left hand. Missed the shot. There he Lutz. Is again. Is fouled. Yeah, you got to foul him and make him go to the line. And unfortunately for Mosier, I think that's his fifth. Call the foul. Yeah, that's it for him. Against Mosier, and yeah. Sam Mosier is fouled out. Let's his free throw is good.
two for three on the night. Gets a second free throw. Sure does, if they box him out, just in case. Don't need it. Hits them both. Yep. We are tied right. once again at 59. Three minutes remaining. This is Franklin with the basketball. Brockton settling into that 2-3 zone the last few possessions. Sure. They don't want New Bedford slicing to the bucket. That's where they've done most of their damage. So they move to zone. Oh, shot took too long. Kick it outside. Here's Franklin trying to work his way to the goal, but Lutz was there. They get the foul, though, call. Oh, they're going to call a block, though. I don't know if it was Reed or Lutz. I'm not sure. I think they're going to go with Reed on this one. We'll see. With the body. They Reed's, do. Yeah, he's pleading his case. Only his first. And a timeout on the floor called by Brockton. The Brockton strategy here down the stretch, Chris, is go to zone. Yep. Try to eliminate New Bedford slicing to the goal, speed and quickness. Make them shoot. Advantage. It. Make them shoot from the perimeter. So 241, tied at 59. And Franklin will go to foul. Let's watch and Reed steps in. But Lutz was there too, and they didn't really have their feet set. I guess they could have called it either way, but he went with Reed, who was closer to him. So Reed pleaded his case. When you step in the way, you got to get there quick. Yep. You got to you got to determine here's here he comes. Get there quick so that you're stationary by the time he gets there. If you're sliding over at all, after he leaves his feet, it's going to be a blocking foul, and that's what was called. So Brockton will come out of the timeout. Obviously, Reed in lane, still with Lutz, still with Olowu, and obviously, Xavier. Here we go, free throw line for Kendall Franklin. Connects. I mentioned it could end up being a game decided at the free throw line. Could be. Brockton has struggled a little bit more than New Bedford. Hits four consecutive free throws for Kendall Franklin and New Bedford with a 61 point lead. 59 you lead. Have to keep an eye, obviously, on Xavier. Reed got inside, Go inside position. Inside to Reed. And he's fouled. Well, he got inside position. You can see Brockton has had much more success once they started to go inside. It's three for three, Joe, from the free throw line. Navon Reed. Classic power forward body. It's a free throw. It's a term that's pretty much gone from the game. You never hear the term anymore, power forward, yeah. because everyone is, you got stretch three, and stretch yeah. four, yeah. stretch fives. I mean, no one plays the power game inside. Well, he is tonight. And Reed hits two free throws. This is Franklin. Tied at 61. Working it around the perimeter. Who had a good look, too. Franklin tries to spin Push his trip. way inside. Looked like maybe a foul there. On a low woo, yeah, but I know. No, actually, on, I thought it was on uh, Lane. Spun to the floor, yeah. and then there was a tie-up, and yeah. I think they're saying it's Brockton's basketball. Yep, yeah, Franklin on the ground, Lutz Frank on the ground, and they all got it. But Franklin tried to make it, like, turn the corner, and then it looked like he was hooked. It was. And it, and it was Lane, but they didn't call it. So Brockton has a chance to take the lead right now, and they're going to look inside. They want Reed. Hello. There he is. Oh, great defense Jockey by Jacques. Reached over the back. There's Morgan. Squeezes oh, up they're gonna shot. Go the shot. They're going to call a block. Oh, great defense by Jocks as Reed working down low. I don't know if we have that. Jaunty. See if we see that on the replay because that's a big defensive alignment there from Jocks to work it and get away from it and then tip it away. Here's Messiah Morgan. Hits a free throw. High 19 for him. 
New Bedford back up by one. And makes and two both. free throws. Two minutes exactly. Whale is up by two, trying to pull the upset here at home. 63-61. This is a low woo. See where they want to go with it. Working against Morgan. Hmm. Tried to get it inside. Still looking inside. There it is. There it is. Reed's Reed. going to be double teamed. They try to strip it. Jocks and reaches call in. A foul. And that'll be double bonus. And that's going to send Avon Reed to the line to shoot two, I believe. I believe so, too. Still have nine on the scoreboard. Yeah. I thought it was. It is two. It is the 10th team foul. I got 10 points for him, Joe. Five for five. And hits. Six for six. Sixty-three, sixty-two. New Bedford by one. Navon Reed racking up points here from the charity stripe, oh, sure and he is. hits. Perfect from the night. Tied up, sixty-three all. That's why you keep on going to Reed in the yeah, low block right. if you're Brockton. And he's making them. Franklin. Brockton staying in that two-three zone. Tarpy in the corner. It's amazing how well New Bedford's been able to get yes. inside, though, against the zone. Again, they, oh, and Jock's and there. They lost him. Jock's Jonte with a the follow. They were so consumed about getting Morgan that they lost him. Got to stop this guy. He'll shoot threes. To the goal. Offensive? Oh, no. They're going to say a block. As you had Xavier work his way to the goal, yeah. draws a foul. 119 left, Brockton down by two, shooting two. Benilton Xavier hits a free throw. Call the block. And yeah, we saw it on replay there. It looked like it might have been a charge. Three for six, misses. Misses the second. And he runs into the lane. He knew he was short and ran too early. Too early. It's got a hit. Yep. When you're the shooter. Fisher was on it. So New Bedford with a one-point lead. This is Franklin. They went to Roberts inside. Good move. Morgan, now back to Roberts. And he thought about taking it. Now Franklin. Plenty of time. Working Roberts, got it to Jonte. 11 on the shot clock. Ball will stay with New Bedford, as Chris mentioned. 11 on the shot yeah. clock, so still plenty of time. And about one minute on the game clock. New Bedford up by one on the 10. That's Franklin. Oh, got inside to Jante. It was wide open. Oh, oh he missed the he shot. Missed the layup. With the left hand. Yeah, but Lutz, you know, that size. Plenty bothered of him. size there. Here's Better Reed. cover Xavier. It, and Reed wants to oh, isolate. Oh, he wants it. Trying to work his yeah, way he inside. Yeah, going to pull it back out against Franklin's Tarpey. Franklin's going to help him. To the goal, missed the oh, shot. Lutz, There's not Lutz over the back. And then Lutz will ah, and then he travel. Traveled. He well, I thought he was going to call over the back first. And then once he got the ball, he fell and he moved around and it's called travel. He had a player under his feet, caused him to stumble a little bit. Think about Lutz, is he's so big, he doesn't have to push off. Even no. though it's no, he he's not in position, yeah. he just goes up over the top. Yeah. So. Officials have a tendency, when they don't see you like pushing to get position, they're saying, well, that's got to be clean. He's just bigger, and he's going over the top. Yeah. Watch it here. Reed misses. Yeah, yeah. but see, then, then he, he got it. And then, and he yeah, then a New Bedford player was on the floor, and it caused yep. him to stumble. Yep. So traveling is called against Brockton with 35.7 seconds left. So here, if you're Brockton, your choice is, do we foul? And send New Bedford to the free throw line. I don't Do think we so. play defense for, let's say, 20 seconds? New Bedford can run 30 seconds off the shot clock and leave only 5.7 seconds left. Yeah. If I'm New Bedford, I do not shoot the ball. I work it. I, I like I work the way it, they've been working work off this it. zone yeah. and just try to see what happens. Well, and, and if you go to the basket, then go to the basket. They've been calling a lot of fouls in the last three minutes. So let it continue. And try to hold it until the very end on the shot clock. Because you want Brockton to get an opportunity here with as 
little time yep. as possible. Brock is going to try to tra trap here. Get it to Morgan. Oh, no, they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul quickly there, I think, yeah. against Lane. Uh, it is. And Morgan will go to the line. You like that call, Joe? No. I, I don't either. I'm no. surprised by that. That's too quick. You play it for, again. Try I, to get I, the steal first. I, yeah, you, you always try to get the steal, regardless. And you had a lot of time there. You can play defense for a good, you know, 15, 18 seconds. Morgan and still hits have first. 15, 20 seconds on yep. your own. Then Morgan here hits. Put New Bedford up by two. Does it? Oh, hits them both. Puts New Bedford up by three. Now here you are again. Six for seven for Messiah Morgan from the free throw line. Leading scorer for New Bedford. They got a three-point lead with 32.3. And Emmanuel DeBarros calls timeout. Brings his group together, goes over the chalkboard, Joe, and what are you calling for a play? I still go for the two here. There's plenty of time. Okay. You go for the two. And then force a steal on the yeah, inbound? Yeah, you, you go for the two, then you always play the steal, and then you just tell your players, okay, I'm going to yell at about 15 seconds. I'm going to say foul when there's about 15 seconds left so that so you, you look, you look, you look Reed and Lutz inside, yeah, and you, if you not there, come Reed, back obviously. out to obviously Xavier. Yeah, I think Reed is the guy you're looking for. Okay. You put Xavier on the same side of the floor. So you get a low woo, you go to the wing, to maybe um, Xavier who drops it to the low block to Reed. You free up the rest of the floor as much as you can. Yeah. Well, Brockton's got to move it fast up the court too. That's for sure. And you don't want to absorb too much time here. So you want to get off your, your, this shot in less than 10 seconds and score. If you can't score in less than 10 seconds, then you're pretty much resigned to the fact that you might have to go for a three. Well. Again, the strategy here to All me right, is So Morgan on, Jacks on Reed and Morgan on Xavier. And the, Remember the, that. The Reed's mistake here, he's coming here he way comes, up top Here comes high Xavier, post. here he comes. There's the three up the high pick. going to take a three. Oh. And ball's no, loose they got on the, the ball floor. Reed's go got it. Another three. Xavier for three. Oh, missed the shot. Lutz inside. Oh, he, oh, missed, he missed inside. Oh, he missed the two. And New Bedford with it. They're going to try to hold the ball and call a timeout. Wow, Brockton had. Either there, his hands up, though. Is he calling foul? Three looks. Okay, do we got foul first, or what do we got? Looks like there is it a is foul. It is going to be a foul. They're going to call it on lane. And Wow. Okay. Well, two, I, I, two threes there by Xavier. Again, I would have done it differently, but he did have a good look. He did. Both times. Morgan's free throw is good. Boy, he wastes no time. Get the ball and shoot. He's like, I'm not going to think about it. Yeah. All right, so what do we got here? Franklin can't come in. Right, for some reason, he's out, and that means Dunstan's got to come in. And he's got Dunstan coming in against Xavier. But you have a five-point lead. Yes. So you're going to have to D. 11 seconds to go. Here comes Reed. Reed got the basketball to Alowu. Got it, got no time to waste. They get it to Xavier, Alowu. Going to take a three. Missed nope. the shot. Loose ball. New Bedford's going to pull this game out, Joe. And New Bedford is going to win it. Whalers, off an 0-5 start, have come away with two in a row. Two consecutive wins. This time, a bit of an upset. Oh yeah, you'd have to definitely think on that after losing 70 to 42 uh, at Brockton. But uh, great job by Matt Hill and his crew uh, getting it together. Outstanding performances from Kendall Franklin, Messiah Morgan. How about Jacques Jante off the bench uh, doing his job? And then obviously Toppy and Mosier on the glass trying to help down low against a very tall and athletic group of Brockton and Give New Bedford all the credit in the world for this victory here tonight. New Bedford wins it 69-64. We talked about it uh, a bit here when you uh, spoke to head coach Emmanuel DeBarros yep. earlier, Chris. He had said that the loss against Durfee was driven by poor shooting yep. and turnovers and pretty much what we saw here tonight. Yeah, I think so too. And, and A lot of misses in close for Brockton. Yeah, and that's uh, unlike them. Uh, trying to get some easy two buckets, and they weren't able to get it as you watch Lutz, who uh, got an easy two there. But still, uh, for them, that inside game, I thought, should have started earlier, Joe. I think they waited too long to get that going because they got such great people inside and out. 
um, that they can afford to really work down low. And you saw Reed try to do it toward the end. You had Let's come back in late. I know he was in foul trouble early and they sat him. Uh, but still, overall, good win for New Bedford. Uh, tough loss for Brockton. They'll go back home and take on Bridgewater Raynham while New Bedford will wait until Sunday to host Randolph right here. The final score for a final time from the Beardsworth Gonzales Gymnasium and the Ed Rodericks Court. It was New Bedford 69, Brockton 64. For my partner Chris Santos and all of our staff here at the New Bedford Cable Network, I'm Joe Cabral. Thanks for joining us tonight, and have a good night, everyone.